Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently on the 16th of March, Microsoft held an event, calling this event the Future of Work with AR. And um, at this event, as many of you may know, because um, a whole lot of you may have already watched the event or heard a whole lot of different announcements from the event, they did announce the integration of OpenAI Chat GPT features now that they will bring in will be bringing to the Microsoft 365 apps uh, in the near future. So Microsoft now not just fo focusing on the new Bing with the Chat GPT chatbot uh, integration, but now also moving on to their different Microsoft apps. Now Microsoft are calling. Um, this um, new integration into their apps, the Microsoft 365 Copilot, your Copilot for work, where with Bing, they are calling it the Copilot for the web and for the different Microsoft apps, your Copilot for work. So that's their new terminology. So I thought what we could do uh, in this video, because a lot was said at that event and a lot of new features were presented, but just to do a quick summary and just collate everything um, in a short video just to keep you up to date and, and in the loop because we like to keep you informed on this channel and up to date. Now, Microsoft did um, mention in a blog post from that event, and I'm quoting, they are bringing the power of next generation AR to work. Introducing Microsoft 365 Copilot, your Copilot for work. They carry on to say, it combines the power of large language models, LLMs for short, with your data in the Microsoft Graph and the Microsoft 365 apps. And they carry on to say, to turn your words into the most powerful productivity tool on the planet, quote unquote. That's according to Microsoft, which will just collate and put everything into context for the purpose of today's video. So just like you can with the new Bing, you'll be able to have conversations with your Microsoft apps um, in the near future. Now, Microsoft did make a couple of YouTube clips available from that event, and I thought um, we could just have a look at a couple of screen grabs just to highlight some of the key um, features, which will just give us a better idea focusing some, on some of those Microsoft apps with that um, chat GPT integration. So here we can see create content with Copilot. So this is the chatbot's integration into Word from that event. And basically what this will do, um, the Copilot in Word, just to do a quick summary for each, um, it'll help you write quicker, edit and summarize a whole lot quicker using the Microsoft Word app and Microsoft Word. And then moving on to the next, this is Excel. And yeah, you can see the Copilot um, to the right of the app. And yeah, you've got key trends, which it has summarized. And what um, uh, the Copilot for Excel will help you with, according to that event, to do a summary, um, it should make it easier to make spreadsheets a lot simpler. So it'll help you make complex spreadsheets um, a lot easier, quicker, and simpler to do. And then moving on to the next, this is Outlook. And with Outlook, um, the Copilot in Outlook should help you to um, read through emails. And it will also then, once you've um, it's read through your emails, it will also help you then write replies for you, just making things a lot quicker and simpler and getting you to focus on the things that you should have and should be doing with emails. So just helping you catch up with Copilot using Microsoft Outlook. And then moving on to the last screen grab for this video, and this is Microsoft Teams. And um, Copilot in Teams will just make meetings more productive, according to Microsoft, with real-time summaries, and the way you can action items directly in the actual context. Yeah, we can see uh, to the right-hand side using Copilot. So that'll help you um, summarize and action items directly in the context of the conversation you are having using the Copilot in Microsoft Teams. So that's just a quick summary of some of the highlights using um, the Copilot, your Copilot for work now as Microsoft is terming it from that event held on the 16th um, of March, which was yesterday in my region. And um, the Copilot will be rolling out for um, Microsoft apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Teams, Microsoft Viva, a power platform and a whole lot more now at this stage uh, the different pricing and licensing details are not known but microsoft say, said in that at, uh, said in that event that they would be sharing those soon so obviously when that information becomes available i will post and let you know accordingly so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one